For some strange reason, society has led us to believe that we can buy our way out of every problem in life. And I'm really wondering, as I'm sure you are as well, is this journey of instant gratification really leading us anywhere? Is emotional dependency really the best way to prepare a generation to tackle the complex problems of the future? Yahoo, YouTube! I am Super Genki, and in today's video, we're going to talk about coping with life. I recently saw the movie Seven in its entirety, and there was one quote that really struck a chord with me. Apathy is a solution. I mean, it's, it's easier to lose yourself in drugs than it is to cope with yeah. life. It's easier to steal what you want than it is to, to earn it. Yeah. It's easier to beat a child than it is to raise it. Hell, love costs, it takes effort and work. Effort and work. Effort and work. Effort and work. Life is filled with different situations that require different coping mechanisms. And for some messed up reason, a lot of people think there's only an A and a B. They don't even give themselves a C. It's just what I know I should be doing and what I know I shouldn't be doing, but will make me feel better. <coughs> I've been cheating. <coughs> Hindsight is always 2020. And looking back, what I have found is if you pick the easy way out, you're not solving the problem. You're just forgetting about it until tomorrow. <laughs> the easy way out is always either A or B. And people want to be definitive in their answers. I get it. I don't want to think about my problems either. And more often than not, I end up making the same choice I made the day before. Starting a cycle that goes on indefinitely. The one coping method fits all cycle. Ah, uh, who told you you could record here? Get that camera out of my face. For some strange reason, society has led us to believe that we can buy our way out of every problem in life. And all we need is money. Not effort and work, just money. And I'm really wondering, as I'm sure you are as well, is this journey of instant gratification really leading us anywhere? Is emotional dependency really the best way to prepare a generation to tackle the complex problems of the future? Well, whether it is or not is irrelevant because that's the reality. So what can we do about it? What I've learned through my travels around the world is develop an alternative coping mechanism to pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it sounds obvious, but let me ask you this. What's your alternative? Anything you have to pay for and is instantly gratifying is not an alternative. The internet is not an alternative. Watching a movie is not an alternative. TV shows, not an alternative. Playing video games, not an alternative. If it doesn't require effort and work, it's not an alternative. If you're killing your time while doing it, it is not an alternative. If it only makes you feel good while you're doing it and nothing afterwards, it's not an alternative. So let me ask you again, what is your alternative? If you don't have one or unsure, let me offer some of mine as examples. Playing guitar, drawing, reading, writing, streaming on Twitch, making YouTube videos, studying Japanese, studying Spanish, working out, meditating, reaching out to friends and family, and yeah, that's pretty much what I can think about off the top of my head. The common denominator between all of these alternatives is I feel good not only while doing them, but also after doing them. And that's what I want you to think about when you're creating your own alternatives to pleasure. Do you ever feel good about yourself after killing time? Hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't. Point I'm trying to make here is that one coping mechanism does not fit all situations. And it helps, it really does, to be a little more aware of the alternatives to the default. We're not going to remember what we did in quarantine, but I assure you, we will remember how we felt. I did the binge watching movies, TV shows, playing video games. Those days only felt good for the first two weeks while I was doing them. After that, I'm sure you get the idea. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this message, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. What are some of your alternatives to pleasure? I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.